And now, your Storm Team 18 forecast, weather from where you live. Taking a look at radar this morning, yes, blue has returned back into the area for about four hours. We had just quiet weather, no snow that allowed for a lot of plows to get out and get roadways taken care of. Yes, there's still snow on the roadways. It's kind of hard to get down in near the asphalt or the concrete. So otherwise, just watch for some slick spots out there. If you have to be out, officials are definitely saying just try to stay home if you can and off the road. So our heaviest band now north of 24 in northern portions in Newton, Jasper, Fountain, uh, Pulaski, and Fountain County right now toward uh, Rochester, Winnemac, Rensselaer, Remington seeing that. Uh, so this area really had a lot of snow yesterday up to about 13 inches reported out in Newton County. Here in Lafayette seeing some light to moderate falling snow down toward Crawfordsville and Kokomo uh, for this morning. So we'll take a wider view. Notice off to the west here St. Louis just this bigger band of heavier blue colors indicating very heavy to moderate moderate falling snow. This will work probably just uh, through Lafayette and southward. Indianapolis getting the heavier amount of snow today since that's where the rain snow band or just south will start to develop and that will give way to heavier snow in central Indiana and that's where my totals will definitely reflect that changeover from rain to snow in southern Indiana and that heavy band occurring. But just look at how big this storm is all the way from northeastern United States through Texas and all of this is still going to be working into our area. A couple things to keep in mind. It is going to be very windy today. This is a sustained wind. 15 to 20 miles per hour. I've gotten a lot of questions about well, why isn't this a blizzard? Well, it has to take about 35 miles per hour sustained or a long duration of gusts of 35 miles per hour or greater for a long duration of time. So not blizzard criteria, but it's going to be seeming like one here with a strong northeast wind and uh, gusting up to about 30, maybe even 40 miles per hour at times. And that's dropping visibilities in many places down to less than a mile in Frankfurt, a mile and a half in Lafayette, a little better visibility is off toward the north, but that will likely go down as we really increase wind speed and seeing a little bit more snow. So for the rest of today, watch the wind chills about five degrees with that uh, snow chance really starting to wean off after about three o'clock, six o'clock. I think light flurries for most of us will be likely temperatures staying in the lower 20s and upper teens this afternoon. So here we go. Future cast notice widespread snow here 730 and then going in toward lunchtime still snowing, but the end of the snow looks to occur about two, three o'clock Newton and Jasper County that will continue to push off eastward by seven. I think most of the area will be seeing the snow come to an end and then thereafter late tonight things will be very quiet maybe a few lingering flurries for Friday morning, but nothing too impactful for the morning hours. Things will really start to dry up atmospherically wise for Friday afternoon. So future cast wind gust notice right out of the northeast 30 miles per hour to 40 miles per hour. A good bet. We've had some wind gusts up on 65 near Newton County about 49 miles per hour yesterday. So we're going to be seeing winds like that again today. Very windy, but then thankfully Friday morning into the afternoon things will really start to calm down. So snowfall yesterday. I uh, took this from Chad's graphic yesterday. Totals region wide. Thank you for all the reports and pictures. Uh, we had about again 13 up into Newton and Jasper counties, eight to, to nine inches here in Tippecanoe County. Off toward the southeast, had a lot of people complaining. Well, where was the snow? Well, we had talked about that on Monday and Tuesday that there would be that rain snow line we would be watching very closely, and that's why they saw less snow. But they're going to be seeing more snow today, where that band ultimately sets up a heavy snow from really Kokomo. Frankfurt Crawfordsville southeastward another six to nine inches three to six from Covington Lafayette Logansport a little less than our northwestern counties this morning. So your seven day forecast looks fairly quiet as we get past Friday. So today just mainly snow and then we'll see those temperatures really start to fall tomorrow for a high 17 down to nine Friday morning and then Saturday morning waking up negative 10. It'll be very cold Saturday morning. Clear air, very cold 18 Saturday for a high and then warming up Sunday 
with partly cloudy conditions and then we'll see things still fairly quiet. An Arctic high really kind of clears things out of here for us on uh, Monday and Tuesday. But then as we get toward Wednesday, we could be talking about our next system coming in. Doesn't look too heavy at all. Uh, nothing like what we've been seeing, but otherwise definitely uh, staying fairly cool for the next several days. And now your News 18 traffic report. All right, there's I-65 uh, near State Road 26, State Street and River Road. Look at the State Street and River Road camera. Look, notice the snow going sideways across the screen. So that just just an indication there are very strong wind blowing that snow. So east west roads will definitely have the biggest issue, especially there are 35 that uh, northwesterly uh, roadway. We're going to be seeing a lot of drifting on those roadways, but still seeing a lot of slow medium flowing traffic this morning in our northern counties, especially 65 had an incident there at uh, 231 exit that is starting to clear up now, but otherwise, uh, yes, yellow uh, and orange on 65 down towards 74 in Crawfordsville 41 here in Tippecanoe County 231 pretty much a very slow moving traffic as well. So Marley, yes, region wide. There's a lot of snow on the ground, a lot of snow still on the roads. If you have to be out, please give yourself plenty of time and watch out for others on the roadways. Yeah, great advice. It is slick out there too because yesterday we got that layer of freezing yeah. rain right before the snow hit. So that's a layer down then the right. snow on top of it and now it's just compacting even more makes it kind of slick out there. Yeah, 100%. I was driving this morning. I noticed just a little bit of a shine on some yes. areas where the snow yep. was cleared. So so uh, yes, that ice underneath where we had the rain and then the snow and then more snow will be on top of that today. So just stay off the roads if you can today, if possible. Absolutely. And David, I do want to mention real quick too. I always like to say this. Thank you so much to all of our crews who have been yes. working crazy hours to make yeah. sure, you know, keeping the roads clear and we've got more coming. So they are staying busy as well. Just a big thank you to all of them. Yeah, emergency responders, yep. all those personnel. Thank you so much for keeping us safe and keeping us informed of all that as well. So thank you. And uh, I know more hard work is to come later on this afternoon. Absolutely. David, thank you so much.